going to show you today how to make my version of the Japanese strawberry shortcake. This tutorial is dedicated to my nephew and my nieces who requested for this recipe. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. For the cake, one cup all-purpose flour, one half cup sugar, one half teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoon baking powder, one fourth cup oil, one third cup water or use fresh milk, four eggs, one teaspoon vanilla, one fourth cup sugar, one half teaspoon cream of tartar. For the icing, you need about 10 to 12 pieces of fresh strawberries, two and a half cups of cream, one third to one half cup of condensed milk. Let's make the strawberry shortcake. I want to explain before we, be we begin that what we're making is actually a vanilla sponge cake, which we're going to make into a strawberry shortcake uh, recipe. All right. Uh, the original shortcake recipe is not made with a sponge cake. It's only the Japanese version, the strawberry shortcake that uses a sponge. But they still call it a shortcake, though the cake is not a shortcake, all right? It's just a sponge cake. That's why I call this the Japanese strawberry shortcake. I have flour, one half cup of sugar, baking powder, salt. You mix this together. Make sure you sift the flour before you measure. And then we add in oil, egg yolks. The Japanese version does not use a strawberry flavored cake. It uses a vanilla sponge cake. Vanilla. And then you have milk. I'm using fresh milk. If you don't have fresh milk, you can use water. But the Japanese uh, sponge cake uses milk okay I use a wire whisk you just mix it see until you don't see any lumps you don't have to mix it for a long time all right then you put the egg whites make sure that there is no egg yolk there's no oil in the egg white egg whites then you put cream of tartar and then we whip this until it starts to foam before we add the sugar. Once it starts to foam, you add in one fourth cup of sugar. When you beat egg whites from meringue, always beat it at number six to number eight, not at high speed, because higher speed will produce big bubbles that will uh, deflate immediately or quickly well small bubbles will not deflate fast here okay uh, we don't say how many minutes you whip it because you know each uh, every mixer is different every egg white is different as long as you get stiff peaks like this but you will notice this is still shiny because sometimes you can get stiff peaks but they're no longer shiny so it means it's over beaten. As I said, you can, in my previous tutorial, you can put everything in or you can start with a small portion first to lighten the mixture like this. And then you add the next batch, okay? But you can add all of the meringue in. It's up to you on how well you can fold it in. Just remember that when you fold, you do not stir it because when you stir, you deflate the egg whites. So what we do when we fold, we cut, we scrape the bottom, go up. Cut, scrape the bottom, go up. Okay, like this. Or, as I said, you can hold your spatula straight and then make a figure eight. This time, I'm using three baking pans, eight inches. As I said, if you have a small oven, you can bake it in an 8 by 3 inch baking pan and then you just split them into three. 
I'm not good at splitting cakes, so I prefer to put them in different uh, baking pans, right? See, when the color is all the same, no oil, no paper, no flour. So this should bake in about 20 minutes. You bake this at around 320 degrees because we don't want to develop a dark crust on top. If you have a very dark crust, if you make the Japanese shortcake, you have to remove the crust. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Okay, our strawberry cake is done. See? As I said, you can use a cake tester, but I'm sure this is cooked. My side is always see. You can see that the side is start, starting to detach. So, always invert. This is for the strawberry cake. This is just uh, whipping cream. Then we will add condensed milk. I use condensed milk for uh, sweetener. You can use uh, powdered sugar if you like. Right. But here we remove the. Sometimes if you bake it, this is too brown. In the Japanese uh, strawberry shortcake, they take this out because they don't want to see anything brown on their cake. Okay. You pass the spatula around the sides of the bowl and then try to lift this out. Okay, I have an 8-inch pan, an 8-inch board. Then, we're going to put a uh, thin layer of icing. And then, we're going to arrange some strawberry slices. You have to put them close so that every slice you will uh, get a uh, portion of the strawberry. I use a pastry bag. I cut off the tip. And we top this with another layer of cake. Then another layer. And whipped cream again. And then strawberries again. So far, I have used about six strawberries. This one has no tip, right? This is just to cover the fruits. Okay, then we put in the last layer. This is a three layer cake. You can also make this just two layers. By the way, I'm using a chiffon type of cake. If you're using a sponge cake, they usually brush this with uh, simple syrup. You boil together water and sugar. And once the sugar is dissolved, that's it. The purpose of that, and then you brush it here, it's to keep the cake moist. And then we'll cover the cake all over with uh, whipped cream. So for this recipe, you need a lot of whipped cream. This is a very simple cake. It's not very sweet. You decorate the sides with uh, sliced strawberries. And then for the top, we will make rosettes. Here's our Japanese strawberry shortcake.